All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Call of the Night episode 12. Uh, in the last episode, a bit more of a darker episode, I would say, um, comp definitely compared to the others. Um, we had the introducing of this new detective character, so it would seem. Um, she is somewhat of a... Well, she does not just regular detective work, it looks like. Um, she's also on somewhat on the vampire hunting side, possibly. Not sure. Um, but she definitely knows how to kill a vampire. And she definitely has seen both sides to vampires, potentially. Um, yeah, something a co has now been made aware of. There are two sides to the vampires in this world, so it would seem... Of course, he already met the group of women uh, vampires who said, yeah, you're going to die. And they're like, okay, you're not going to die. But you might die at some point. Um, but now, yeah, definitely more of a darker episode. So I'm very excited to see what comes of this now. How, um, how, ugh, my mind just blank, how Ko will uh, kind of confront Nazana about this. Um, yeah, this being the semi season finale now, potentially going to get quite deep with it. Very much looking forward to it. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh yeah, and he learned about vampires too. I think the color scales greatly changed compared to the usual vibrant look of the anime. He probably doesn't feel, feel very comfortable with this at the moment. Yeah, unsurprising. I'm surprised. I'm 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 liking this this kind of kind of view on consent in a sense that's being talked about right now. And Nasna just be like, listen. I like she she's just completely held back from this and saw that he's not comfortable. Ten years without a drop of blood is insane. I would just like I drink blood once every ten years. <laughs> he hasn't even thought about it. I like how calm, collected, and kind of healthy this this talk is. I really like I I, I like when this happens in anime. They just get it all out. Damn. A bit late. Vampires are scary, bro. You just met a nice one. <laughs> That's nice. She made him really feel really comfortable about it and at ease. And he's, he's comfortable again to give his blood. I, lo I love that. Damn. Bro. Bro! <laughs> Hella titties. <laughs> oh, you got caught, bro. A stroke of raunchy look. <laughs> it's nice that he knows now as well. It is a really unusual case for that to happen in this universe, but he's right to be worried about this. Maeda is such a good friend. Holy shit. He hasn't even asked himself that yet. I'm glad people are asking him these questions. I don't think Nazana would ask him these kind of questions. She wouldn't even think to, I don't think. So it's nice to get this perspective from other people. Bro, good friend. He's not outright saying, do not become a vampire. He's, you know, making him properly put thought into it. <laughs> a little slap on the back. Oh, she's coming to his house? Okay. Can't find any porn. <laughs> oh, so it's just his mom then. My parents aren't home, want to come over? Yeah. <laughs> Lol. 
And she's sleazy. <laughs> she looks so cute. He doesn't know. Hmm, so it's just the night. Call of the night. That's all there is to it, I guess. Yeah, I like that. I like that she acknowledges all of his emotion. Oh shit, what's with Nazana? Mm, yeah, this will become his ordinary. Then maybe he'll start to feel this way about the day. That is a lot to think about. Oh, damn. Fuck. That is rough. That's sad, though. She just goes on. For all eternity, potentially. Yeah? Goddamn dress-up darling situation. Okay. <laughs> Such a tease. This woman, man, I swear. <laughs> I love his serious faces. Oh, she knows a lot. Okay, how do you know that? <laughs> she is... She knows his whole life. Hey, hold on. She was dead on, though. Hmm, so it seems she's fully against vampires. Mmm, she's spitting. Ooh. Asking him if he's actually aromantic. Bro, she's kind of twisted. Shit. Damn. Bro, she needs to meet a nice vampire. She is twisted. I like her though. Even Nazana, bro. Let's go, Ko. Actual facts. Bitch! What the fuck? Bro, that's fucked up. Yeah, she walked you through that conversation, bro. What are the police gonna do in this situation? Like, I don't think there's a curfew. You have the right to be out at night. Like, what is this? Don't you have your watch? Oh, the other vampire. Hello. Alright, so that was episode 12 of Call of the Night. Very good episode. This, this detective is very dark and I thought originally she was going to maybe have some nice, maybe some kind of a nice view on certain vampires and obviously other... You know, there's bad vampires, fair enough. Um, but no, she is just very much against them. She wants to kill them all. She has a reasoning for it, which it makes sense, but she hasn't clearly hasn't met good ones, which sucks. Um But maybe if she even if she does, she will just be straight up, no. I still want you all dead. Which, I don't know, it's, uh, Ko is in a really hairy situation right now. He got uh, some advice from Mahiro, some advice from Nazna, and even some advice from the detective. So a lot to think about. Um, very excited for the finale episode next week. Uh, it's going to be awesome. And hopefully we get a season two, that'd be really sweet. But uh, yeah, overall a very good episode, definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction along with me. 
Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.